Hello everyone and welcome to the F1 Corner. After the practice sessions of the Hungarian Grand Prix, last race before the summer break, and we are coming there with the heated battle on our hands. Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen, only 8 points between the two of them. And Hungary, a track that we can argue might favor Red Bull or Mercedes. Um, Mercedes, Lewis Hamilton won 8 times at this track. It's a track that he knows and that uh, he knows how to win there and from what we saw in practice I think Mercedes could actually have the advantage. Valtteri Bottas fastest of anyone during the practice session and Lewis Hamilton right behind him. Despite Verstappen taking the first place in FP1 he struggled in FP2 with a lot of understeer and was complaining on the radio and this car, the Red Bull, just seemed like it will be struggling on the Hungaro ring. Um, statement reinforced by the position of Sergio Perez, P8 in the morning and P5 only in the afternoon, few tenths of a second behind Max Verstappen. So it's going to be a tough battle, but the current predictions are putting the Mercedes on top for this race. Esteban Ocon, fourth place during the afternoon, the Alpine looking actually pretty strong at this track. Alpine seems to have unlocked the potential of their car, or at least some of it, in the last few races. Fernando Alonso, good 6th and 7th place during both sessions, and really making a breakthrough uh, in the last few races for Alonso after a rough start to the season. Celebrating his 40th birthday this weekend, Alonso uh, really trying to make the best of that car, and Ocon, after a change of chassis, in Silverstone two weeks ago, making really a comeback after a kind of a downtrend um, in the last two, three races. Now, both cars in the top 10 during practice, they are, I think, the team to check for this weekend. Uh, McLaren and Ferrari, the teams fighting for third in the championship. It is a track that could suit Ferrari better than uh, McLaren simply because the Hungaro ring is a slower track comparable to Monaco in some ways where the Ferraris really uh, had good result. Uh, so for Ferraris, um, 12 and 11 only in FP2, but during the morning session, Carlos Sainz and Leclerc were both in the top 10, Sainz even getting fourth place in the morning. Uh, as for McLaren, we're seeing the same trend we usually see, which is uh, not uh, outstanding in practice, doing their own little uh, business. Lando Norris in ninth place in both sessions. Daniel Ricciardo may be struggling again uh, to find pace in the car, but you know it is only speculation at this point. And from what we've seen throughout the whole season, McLaren was never at the top of the timing sheet in practice, but made their big breakthrough in qualifying. So I would not read too much, uh, but still, at the moment, I think it is advantage Ferraris for a best of the rest. Uh, Aston Martin, a track that uh, neither driver seems very keen on tackling. Uh, Lance Stroll really did not seem to feel it uh, during the interviews on Thursday. And from what we're seeing during practice, um, his mitigated result, barely making a top 10, and uh, when everyone puts uh, everything together, I think this is not a track that will suit the Aston Martin, who are fighting for fifth in the championship. But we could get some surprises. Sebastian Vettel has been very good uh, since the last two or three races. So if you can make the best of that car, they might be able to scratch for a few points. Alfa Tauri, uh, tough day for them, Yuki Tsunoda spinning out of track twice during the morning session and damaging the car, meaning that uh, even this afternoon during FP2 he could not do more than one fast lap at the end of the session because of the damage, so a lot of work to do tomorrow for FP3 for the Japanese driver. As for Pierre Gasly, very good result and once again, you know, making a comeback uh, in that car that had trouble at Silverstone, but you know, not every track can suit uh, every car. But for the Hungaro Ring, P3 
during the afternoon session for Pierre Gasly. Very good result there. Alpha Tauri, if they can put everything together, could have a strong result overall for this weekend. And then we go back to uh, you know the back of the field. Alfa Romeo seemed to be a struggle for Antonio Giovinazzi, uh, 20th in FP1, uh, but this is due to mechanical issue. He could not run much, and but only 19th uh, during the afternoon session. So behind the Williams and even behind Mick Schumacher for the Italian driver, he will have some work to do. As for Kimi Raikkonen, he was replaced by Robert Kubica in the morning, but in the afternoon, P14, not bad overall in front of the Williams, but still uh, not where we usually see the Alfa Romeo during practice, which is surprising top 10 sometimes. So I think uh, it might be a bit of a struggle for uh, the team, uh, but as we are used to see if they can put everything together, Alfa Romeo can tickle the top 10 and maybe scratch for points, but a lot of work to do there. Williams, very good result, all things considered uh, for them. 15 and 16 in both practice session. And you know, the trends we've seen is that um, depending on what happens uh, in qualifying, what tires they choose, there is a relatively good chance that George Russell could make it again into Q3, but um, you know, I would not put my hopes up or uh, put money on that still. Uh, but George Russell, really the, the revelation of this year, fighting for a seat at Mercedes and uh, the Hong Kong ring could be a good place for them. Uh, again, depends on the tire choices for everyone. And uh, Haas did last as usual, Mick Schumacher 18, Nikita Mazepin 20th, uh, nothing much to say, it's going to be another tough weekend for Haas. There you have it, this uh, free practice summary and analysis, my expectations, I think Mercedes are on top, and in quali, it seems like there could be up to one second difference between the soft and medium tire, what will we see, will we see different strategies there? Uh, for sure the team don't want to start on the soft so they might try the medium but because of the time difference i think it's going to be an all soft tire qualifying thank you for watching everyone remember to smash the like button and to subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss any update regarding this hungarian grand prix or anything surrounding this 2021 formula one season thank you for watching and i will see you again after the qualifying session on saturday have a good day